Okay, now you should have four of these small framed squares finished. Now, I suggest that if you're going to make several squares and put them together, um, do each step. Like, make if you're going to do uh, 12 six inch squares for your finished piece, we'll multiply that by four. Do all your centers first and then do all your second row and third row frames on all of them. Draw in all your tails after each square. Um, if you're just doing one square, just wait and draw in all your tails at the same time right after this recent step. Um, because you don't want to have to do all your tails at once. It'll get a little tedious. So now, now the next part is we're going to put them together. Okay, so we're going to hold this uh, what you want to get is a length of black yarn. I'll do about a yard and thread it on a yarn needle. Like so. We're going to, I have it folded over part way, but we're only going to use one thickness of yarn when we sew these together. So we're going to hold them right sides together and whip stitch through both layers and under both top threads of the single crochets bordering the squares on one side. Do not s stitch through the corner chain stitches, these here. So you're only going to join it where the single crochets are. Okay, so you're going to take them and put them right sides together like so, and then find that corner chain, go in that next single crochet there, and then on this side, like so, draw it through, then leave a tail just long enough to go across those stitches, and then wrap it around. I go through that first one for a second time to anchor it, so go around, through. And I'm holding on to the tail with my left hand as I do this so that I don't pull it out. And then you can pull that tight like that. Okay. And you just whip stitch around through those single crochets on one side. So basically you're going to make four seams. here in the last one before that chain corner. You can go around through that one more time to anchor it. And then draw your tail back up through those stitches you just made. Don't pull, pull it tight but not so tight that you don't you lose the elasticity in your work. Then snip it off. So join the other two the same way and then do it this way. Go across, make sure you don't do the corner, and that one off and then go across this one. And you will have all four of your squares sewn together, but your middle will be open. So go ahead and join the rest of your squares. Pause this video here and I'll get back to you for the next step.